I just started filming and someone started mowing the lawn but I'm just gonna keep going anyway so hi it's me too and today I'm gonna bleach my eyebrows and it's a thing that I regularly do well I try to do I have quite dark eyebrows I have long hairs dark eyebrows and I like them to be a bit lighter because that focuses the attention on my eyes and not my eyebrows and it just I feel like it just brightens up my face and makes me look better and also it helps um, match my hair better too because I have uh, dyed hair I have darker hair than what this is here and yeah so my eyebrows are quite dark now this is a thing that I learned to do or because I hadn't ever thought about it before but when I moved to Japan a lot of the gad were doing it I noticed that a lot of my idols in Japan had light lighter eyebrows than their hair color and that's quite normal in Japan a lot of Japanese girls dye their eyebrows lighter than their hair color now it really depends some people dye their eyebrows plus you know they do their eyebrows with powder or brow cara it's like an uh, eyebrow mascara uh, and they choose a blonde color usually I just bleach my eyebrows and that's okay for me because I have quite long eyebrows and they do stay in place quite well too so all I generally have to do is bleach them when someone doesn't have enough eyebrows then I would say that the girls, the, Jap the girls in Japan that I know don't bleach their eyebrows but they just try to fill it in and then use a light, like a blonde eyebrow mascara. But having your eyebrows lighter than your hair just is a thing in Japan. My favorite thing to use is this Palti hair bleach and a lot of people use this actually for their roots, not all of their head, but you can use it for all of your head too. But actually you can just use regular bleach like that you use for like your arms or you know your mustache or whatever that kind of bleach I've used I've used a Japanese brand and, and a UK brand and I had no problems with it but I tried Jolen and it was a bit it turned my eyebrows a bit orange and I want my eyebrows to be more like a blonde color so for guaranteed results I'm sure like this would do a really good job and not make your eyebrows orange I don't have the other bleaches with me because they expired and I threw them out Anyways, it comes with tubes like this. One is the bleach and one is the color or cream. And so you have to mix them together in equal parts. It also comes with gloves. It comes with a little tub like this to mix it. And it comes with this too because that makes it easier when you're just doing your roots. But so I use this when I color my hair sometimes or mix colors. This is just so handy. I'm so glad that they put that in there. I'm just gonna put a bit of this inside like honestly, you just really need a pea-sized, no, a bean-sized amount. Like, not a pea-sized amount, but maybe like a lima bean-sized amount of each because you're just doing your eyebrows, you don't need that much. So I'm gonna put the same amount here. This cream is also white. Okay, I'm gonna be real here. I just used my finger to do this and then I put it on and then I wash my hand very, like I wash my finger really quickly because I just find it so much easier to apply with my finger. If you have like a little brush, then that would be good. So I just mixed it up and it's like that. And now I'm just basically covering my eyebrows. I don't really worry about the rest of my face because it doesn't leave a color since it's just bleach. It's not gonna tint or do anything to my, my skin. Now I apply it, I try to put, go up so that it covers the hairs well, like I find like it covers better when I put it on using this upward kind of motion. I'm gonna leave that on for five to 10 minutes and I'm just gonna keep checking. Oh, and if it burns, if, it, if you feel the bleach burning your skin, take it off because it can make your skin red. It can, like bleach can burn your skin. So if you feel it, if you have very sensitive skin and you feel it, and I do have sensitive skin, but just to be safe, if, it, if you feel it burning, take it off. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I'm done bleaching 
Um, actually, it didn't even take five minutes. I took it off after four minutes because I did feel it burn a bit and it was getting a lot lighter. So I should have taken pictures so I could like immediately show you the difference. But I do feel that it just, um, looks better like my face looks brighter and it just f puts the focus on my eyes more now i can actually put eye makeup on to even emphasize my eyes even more i'm just wearing mascara today i'm not wearing any other eye makeup so with like eyeliner and stuff and that'll make my eyes pop even more but without looking too much because if you have dark eyebrows plus dark eyes it can look like too much so I prefer to have the focus on my eyes so that's why I do this and I think that's why a lot of Japanese girls like doing this too because they want their eyes to look bigger and they wear heavier eye makeup this technique works for me and makes my eyebrow process easier because I generally I don't do my eyebrows that this is all it that I actually do and so it's just easier instead of putting makeup and covering my natural eyebrow color manually I do I actually just bleach my eyebrows <laughs> yeah some people might think this is really weird and like this girl is so crazy but I don't know <laughs> that's what I do <laughs> Anyway, if you like this video, please click like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!